Good day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to my channel. Presenting to you this lovely 2008 Mercedes-Benz SLK 200 1.8 convertible. And in this video, I'm going to show you the complete exterior and interior as well as show you what does this SLK 200 has to offer. So with that, let's begin today's video. <music> So before we begin to this video, let me just show you around this lovely Mercedes-Benz SLK 200. So as you can see, you get the Mercedes 3-pointed star at the front. Your headlights are right there. This car has been fitted with the 16-inch rims. As you can see, it gets the 16-inch rims. Compressor lettering on the sides. This is the front portion of the car. It gets LED indicators on the side mirrors. Body-coloured door handles as well. Currently, I have the roof down at the moment, so it, it just looks a touch more nicer with the roof down. It just looks stunning with the roof down. Let me just give you a look at the interior. So as you can see, this is the interior of the Mercedes-Benz SLK 200. It looks really nice as well, if you ask me. I personally love the interior as well. It's simple, but elegant at the same time. So moving on to the side, let me give you a side look of the car. So as you can see, this is the side of the Mercedes-Benz SLK 200. Overall, it's a nice car actually. It is, if you ask me, this is one of the best angles to admire the SLK 200. It looks really nice. So now moving on to the rear part of the car. So these are your rims at the rear. Your rear antenna right there. Let me give you a real look of the car. This is also another nice angle to admire the SLK 200. It also looks nice from this angle if you ask me. Your rear tail lights are right there. SLK 200, Mercedes badge right there. Your two rear exhaust pipes down there. Moving on to the rear again. As you can see, the car looks nice. Fuel door right here. Give you another sneak peek of the interior. Now going back to the front. So without further ado, let's begin the video. So here is the key of the Mercedes-Benz SLK 200. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start it up and let it run. There are welcome lights as you unlock the car. This SLK does come with frameless doors. The Mercedes-Benz SLK 200 comes as standard with an electric rack and pinion power steering system. The steering wheel in this SLK 200 is wrapped in leather. It features sport grips at 10 and 2. Mercedes's 5G Tronic 5-speed automatic transmission can be found in the Mercedes SLK 200 in Malaysia. This transmission is controlled via this gear lever right here. This transmission also features a manual mode as well. You shift it all the way to the back and you can also shift manually via the gear lever. This transmission also features a comfort mode and a sport mode as well. Rear parking sensors are standard. So let's take a look at the exterior now, shall we? Let's turn on the hazards. Lights. Front and rear fog lights. Take a look at the engine. Roll down the driver's side window. And continue with the exterior tour.
fitted to the Mercedes SLK 200 in Malaysia. This is a set of Michelin tyres. They measure 205, 55R16. The tyres do really handle well on the roads and the rims have a nice design as well. Compressor lettering on the sides. As for headlights, it gets full halogen projector headlamps, halogen indicators and halogen fog lights as well. The Mercedes grille right here with the three-pointed star. Let me give you a front look of the car. Overall, it looks nice with the roof down. It just looks stunning with the roof down. And it is one of my personal favorite cars as well. So here is the engine bay of the Mercedes-Benz SLK 200. This Mercedes SLK 200 is powered by a 1.8 liter turbocharged petrol engine, producing around 184 horsepower. Zero to 100 can be done in around 7.6 seconds, onwards to a top speed of around 200 kilometers per hour. All the power is sent to the rear wheels, via a 5G Tronic 5-speed automatic transmission. So this is the engine bay right here, as you can see. The engine is held by these two hydraulic struts, which can be helpful when opening and closing the engine bay. So we can close it right now. So moving on to the sides. This is the front portion of the car it gets LED indicators on the side mirrors body colored door handles the interior right there as for rear tail lights it gets halogen brake lights, halogen tail lights, halogen indicators, and halogen reversing lights as well. Your rear exhaust pipes down there. SLK 200, Mercedes badge right there. This is the rear fog light right here. Full door. Two speakers right here right here you have your window controls both the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions storage area right here mercedes-benz door sills headlight level adjustment knob this car does come with automatic headlamps front and rear fog lights and parking lights as well And the driver's seat in this Mercedes-Benz SLK 200 does get full powered adjustments with all of the controls located down there together with your 3% memory setting. The seats in this car are finished in very really nice black leather. They feel very really nice to the touch. And they feel very really nice to sit on. And on the doors, it's finished in soft touch materials right here and leather right here. As you can see, the interior looks nice as well. Very simple, air conditioning controls, fan speed, different modes, driver side temperature knob, passenger side temperature knob, recirculation, your rest air conditioning, your front defrost and your rear defrost right here. Right here, you have a storage tray right here, storage area right here, driver side three stage for your air scarf and driver side three stage seat heating, central locking.
your button to turn off the electronic stability program and your passenger side three stage seat heating and your passenger side air scarf three stage seat heating right here you have a storage area just below the aircon vents this is the infotainment system which i'll demonstrate later right here you have your mirror controls your buttons right here to turn off the interior motion sensors and the tow away protection part of the alarm system and this is your controls to control the powered hard top i'll demonstrate that now your handbrake right here This is the infotainment system right here. Right here you have your seek track buttons, your telephone button, your on hook off hook button for the Bluetooth telephone system, eject button for the CD DVD player, volume and power knob, your Bluetooth telephone keypad right here. You can pair your Bluetooth telephone on the infotainment system and you can dial a phone number via the keypad right here. And this doubles up as your nine customizable stations for your FM and AM radio stations. Right here you have your radio button, your mute button, CD button, CDC button your seek track your audio settings and your skip a track and forward a track buttons right here it is quite a simple here you need to use if you ask me and the sound system does sound quite good as well on the steering wheel the left spoke houses your controls to go through the multi information display right there currently showing you your your mileage you can go through your coolant temperature your weather, your service B, and your back to your mileage. Use these buttons right here to go through the different menus, your audio menu, your settings, and your trip display. You can go through your trip after start, your trip after reset, your distance, and back to your trip after start. So hit this button to go back to your mileage display. On the right spoke, you have your volume controls and your on-hook off-hook button for the Bluetooth telephone system. On the top left stock, you have your cruise control stock right here. You can program your cruise controls via the stock right here. And on the bottom left stock, you have your wiper and indicator controls. And below that, you have the lever right here to adjust your fully powered to the telescopic power steering system so you can adjust the steering wheel outwards inwards up and down the steering wheel feels really nice and comfortable to hold as well right here you have a storage area and behind here you have another storage area as well right here Manual dimming, rear view mirror, interior lights, your front reading lights are right there. Sun visor for the driver's side, just get a vanity mirror and a light. Alright, so I guess that's it for the startup. You can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour.
fuel door. Boot space in the Mercedes-Benz SLK is quite good. You can move this up for more storage space. But if you move that up, the roof mechanism cannot work anymore because the roof actually stores away right here. So if you move this up, it cannot, the roof cannot be stored here. So in order to bring the roof back down, you actually have to move this down and place it there. So now the roof mechanism can actually work. So the roof will be stored away right here. So that affects boot space as well. Speakers right here, storage area, window control, Mercedes-Benz door sills for the passenger side, and the passenger seat does get full manual adjustments with all of the controls located right there. This lever adjusts the seat back, this lever adjusts the seat height, while this lever down here adjusts the seat position. It gets the same seat upholstery as well. Get a 12 volt socket right there and a storage net right here. Nicely sized glove box, sun visor for the passenger side, does get a vanity mirror and a light. So now let's start the car with the door closed. So that's all for today's video of the 2008 Mercedes-Benz SLK 200 1.8 convertible. Thanks for watching and goodbye.